What's going on guys? It's a new day. Unfortunately yesterday I forgot my camera so I recorded some stuff on my phone. We did a little bit of stuff that I actually ended up not recording. We ran into our first clearance issue and I was a little worried about this. Um, so you will see that we put the shroud, <clears throat> this Nishimoto shroud, we put the shroud on the radiator. And the issue that we ran into is that that shroud ended up touching the turbo. So if you can actually see it now, it's still kind of close. You got this big ass Garrett turbo. And the issue is the intake, this giant four inch intake that I kind of have to run was hitting that as well. So it was hitting the shroud. So the shroud itself was hitting the turbo, like the bolt. There's a, a bolt on there that was hitting the turbo right here on the compressor side. And then the fan itself was touching the intake. So there's no way we can make that happen. So what uh, me and Rodney came up with is I've seen this before on some old forums. It's not that big of a deal. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to create our own brackets and we're going to ditch the shroud. So that thing will be gone. And I went to Home Depot and I found some aluminum flat bar. Uh, pretty much it's, it's a bar is what it is and we're going to cut it drill some holes in it and the plan is to hook it up like from here to here create a bracket that way to kind of hold the fan in place and it'll just barely clear if we do that so that's what we're going to do today I also went to AutoZone <clears throat> and crazy enough I ended up replacing this wheel bearing and on this side specifically three years ago and maybe like not even 15,000 miles ago and look look at this it's it's gone again and I don't know what the problem is with this funny thing is the passenger side is actually still factory from 2006 and no issues at all so I don't understand what the deal is with that <clears throat> this side's been replaced but we're still having issues with it and I should definitely not do that. So went to AutoZone and I bought, well Rodney actually ordered it for me and I picked it up today. Oh, you're updating? Yeah. You want me to open that for you? Please. I got you. Yeah, Hopefully this is not the same brand. I think the nope, one I different bought, brand. I, thought, I think the one I bought was from Duralast. Yeah, so that was uh this is a it's a better brand. A lot of people know this brand. <clears throat> Moog is a pretty big brand. So no play there. Looks pretty good. I'm out. Alright guys, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do today is uh hook up the you can't really see it, it's way down there. You see that tape down there? That's the new catch can. And it's pretty well hidden, but it requires two AN fittings. And what Rodney's doing is, oh, he got it off. That was actually pretty easy. All right, so this is the part I was worried about because the, the guy at the shop had said that it needed to be pressed in, but Rodney had to separate the little elbow piece, which is it's on the vice. right here on the vise from this piece that's gonna actually hold the fitting for the catch can. And that's the fitting right there. You gotta lock tight it in just in case. We'll put that bad boy in, just like that. And then we'll get a rubber mallet and uh, we'll send it home. It's over there. No, that's the regular mallet. The regular one. You don't want that. Unless you, well, you're, you're redoing the valve cover anyway, so. It's very hard to, uh, There it is. Going in. If you look at it, it's nice and good there, guys. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go ahead and move this one <clears throat> off. There we go. <laughs> we, this, this fool <laughs> fucking pulled it off while we, while I wasn't recording. But uh, here's the new fitting. This thing is long. No, no, no. Yep. This thing is long as shit, and it's ruined. <laughs> Yep. I don't know what you expected. Well, I mean, I uh, it is what it is. I'm sure, I mean, worst case scenario, I could always just buy another one. No problem. 
What would you need metal one for if this one's gonna work? Uh, did you already fit it in there? Yeah. It fits in? Perfectly. All right. And don't be cheap with your uh, Loctite here, guys. Dude's gonna have to be careful when I get this thing done, though. Ron, you over here trying to take credit for my work. I already <laughs> got all these out, and he wants to come in last minute to, to fucking try to rescue it. Jeez. Yep. Let me see. You know, that's what you get for buying Dura last. That's what I bought last time. I want to say it was even more expensive than that last one, too. No, it was uh, 80 bucks. Was it? This one was 90 something. I think I, think I paid over 100 time. with this. I got the new wheel bearing on there. Rodney being a pain in the fucking ass. happen. Ronnie likes the camera. Oh, I know. Quick update. This is what it looks like. Rodney's doing an outstanding job. Yeah. Good job, champ. Champ is good. Three, uh, three out of four brackets are done and this thing's not going anywhere. Rodney went ahead and brushed it as well. I like this brush look, which is kind of like the theme I'm going with, with everything. Even the intercooler, which is kind of crusty, but is what it is. I want to pressure wash it, but Rodney won't let me. I don't want you to mess all the things up. But this is what he's been using to uh, get that brush look, which looks pretty good. I thought we were going to have to use the welder, but he's uh, obviously very busy. So, yeah. Welcome back. Today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the great dads out there. We ran into an issue. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is hitting the turbo, this little piece right here. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to grind some of it down. So I got a Dremel. Um, I just don't want it to wear over time. So I might as well just do it before. So yeah, it seems like this radiator is gonna pan the ass, honestly. And this is not one of my original concerns. So it kind of sucks, but I'm gonna go ahead and grind this down. All right guys, last final little clip for a while since I am actually going to do some training starting tomorrow. So radiator is in, the bracket is good, kind of. Um, it's pretty decent. But um, the welder ended up screwing us over, so. He told us he would do the job. He essentially said, yes, I'll do it. And then did not do it. Did not show up today. I gotta go. 
do this training. So this is where we stand. Uh, we will need a coupler. That's roughly. Bella, what are you doing? Uh, we'll need a coupler that's roughly. Uh, I'd say five more inches longer. And we're just gonna kind of wing it for now till I can get somebody to weld it. Create us a an actual downpipe that looks exactly like that. The good thing is, actually, after we get this mounted, I could actually just take this to someone and they could just replicate it exactly like it was just using this the old stuff. But this is where we stand. I ended up ordering a new test pipe last night. It should be here by Friday. Keep in mind the tune is gonna go not this Monday, but the following Monday is when I plan on starting to get tuned. If not that Monday, that Tuesday. So this is where we stand. Rodney's gonna put fluids in the car. 